but what decide how long the ventilator should wait before delivering a backup a breath. This timing is based on the set respiratory rate, also known as the backup rate. This is the minimum numbers of breaths per minute the patient receives, even if they make no effort to breathe. The ventilator will listen to the patient for a period equals to 60 seconds divided by the backup respiratory rate before delivering the backup breath. For example, if the backup rate is 15 breaths per minute, the ventilator waits up to 4 seconds, 60 divided by 15, and if no patient's trigger is detected within 4 seconds, a backup backup breath will be delivered. It's important to notice here that the actual respiratory rate can be equal to or higher than the backup rate, but never lower. This is important when trying to adjust the backup rate. Let's say the backup rate is 14 and the patient is breathing at 20 breaths per minute. This is the actual rate. There is no point here if you increase the backup rate to 16 because the patient, the actual respiratory rate is already higher. Take a look at this ventilator screen. You can see the backup rate set at 18 while the actual respiratory rate on the ventilator is 28 so to increase the backup rate will not have values unless you go above the actual respiratory rate and by the way the pieces of information at the bottom of the picture are the set values that we provide while those at the top are the actual live values 